Good morning. I hope you all had a blessed Resurrection Sunday. Although there is about a 100% chance that this year's Easter activities were quite a bit different than your Easter activities in years past, I hope you still celebrated. After all, regardless of whether we celebrate Easter worshiping in a packed sanctuary or in our living rooms via the computer, Christ is risen. No matter whether you gather with your family around an Easter Sunday dinner or gather with your family over the phone or via FaceTime, Christ is risen. No matter what our situation or circumstance may be, Christ has risen and invites each of us, one person at a time, to join Him in a resurrected new life. What's more, Jesus' invitation finds us wherever we may be and shows up at exactly the time we need it most. Have you ever noticed that? Mary found her resurrected Savior while, while grieving in a graveyard of all places. The disciples, most of them anyway, experienced their resurrection invitation while hunkered down in a hideout fearing for their lives. Check out John chapter 20 verses 19 through 20. John records that Sunday evening the disciples were meeting behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly Jesus was standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said. As he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands and his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Just picture the scene. Twelve hours had passed since Mary's encounter with her resurrected Savior. While Mary was no doubt filled with the light of resurrection joy, not so for the disciples. In my mind's eye, I picture the mood in their hiding place being as dark as the evening sky. Although they were together, each one to a man had probably never before felt as lonely and lost as they did on that dark night. Alone and lost in grief over Jesus' death alone and lost in confusion surrounding Mary's crazy claim that Jesus had risen, and alone and lost and perhaps paralyzed by fear. But then, out of the darkness, Jesus appears. In the same way that His resurrection light extinguished the darkness of Mary's graveyard grief, the disciples' resurrected Savior broke in and replaced their hopeless grief, confusion, and fear with resurrection light. Just when it seemed that death was all they had left to hope for, Jesus arrived with an invitation, an invitation to a resurrected new life. And in an instant, their death-filled hiding place overflowed with, with resurrection joy. The good news is that what was true for Mary Magdalene in the graveyard and true for the disciples in their hideout is no less true for each one of us. No matter how dark our situation or circumstance, It's no match for the light of Jesus' resurrection. After all, Jesus was resurrected in the dark, and Mary and the disciples received their resurrection invitations in the dark. And so will each of us, one person at a time. Christ is risen, and each of us are invited to the joy of a resurrected new day. My plan is to continue our Monday through Thursday devotions until we can once again gather in person. Until then, keep tuning in, keep looking up, keep loving one another. God's got this, and we'll see you tomorrow.